Right, thanks, Paul. Well, there's a Canadian angle to this story as well, with new attention being directed at climate change research from the University of Saskatchewan. Carolyn Dunn explains. Look no further than Philadelphia to see increased rainfall and flooding in the U.S. The new study says the amount of rainfall has increased in some regions by 30 percent since the early 90s, and with it, the flooding and misery that follows. The picture is clear and it is stark. Climate change is bringing serious challenges to our way of life. The report says the increased precipitation is directly related to human-caused warming. Simply put, warmer air means more storms can hold more vapor. So they will get bigger and will end up dumping more rain. The findings may have been compiled by U.S. scientists, but the reality of their data doesn't stop at the border. In decades past, spring flooding was usually caused mostly by spring melt, but heavy rainfall has played a big role in some recent memorable floods. In 2011, hundreds in Saskatchewan and Manitoba were awash after more than 100 millimeters of rain fell. And Alberta knows all too well the role a major downpour played in the historic flooding last June. It's not just how much rain, it's how long it rains. Recent research from the University of Saskatchewan adds to the deluge, demonstrating a 50% increase in the duration of rain events over the Canadian prairie since the 1940s. The follow-up from this uh, increase in precipitation is that the amount of stream flow has gone up four to five fold and we've seen floods in 2011 that are a scale of 10 larger than anything ever experienced in that part of the world. Very, very destructive. And all completely predictable according to Keith Stewart, a climate researcher with Greenpeace. The scientists have been telling this is for 30 years. They're saying it incredibly strongly today and it's time to uh, listen to them and take action. The consequence for environmentalists is that what is considered historic rainfall and flooding today could soon become the norm. Carolyn Dunn, CBC News, Banff, Alberta. Now one place you won't hear...